Hey, what's up guys? This is Wadi. Just want to do a quick one week review of my Thoroughgood 804 3800s. This is from Thoroughgood's 1957 series. They're 8 inch waterproof mock toe, steel toe, made in USA boots with the Briar Brown leather. Um, so Thoroughgood has this 1957 series line coming out. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, go on their Instagram page. I think it's Thoroughgood USA, and they have different colors and different configurations of these. Um, and this specific color, you can get them in six inch or eight inch with or without steel toe. And they have some other different colors and stuff like that. But these ones um, I chose because they fit what I was looking for in a boot. Um, you know, I kind of do something more like functional reform when it comes to things like this. Um, so I really wanted a waterproof boot that's steel toe um, and that it's 8 inch and then I really wanted the uh, as far as the look goes I guess I just wanted the uh, mock toe um, but I wanted to go over and, and uh, show you guys my experience with them with the first week here and go over what's good about them what's bad about them and break in and stuff like that so as far as what's good about them um, the uppers are really awesome there you can see all the great construction going on there good craftsmanship and stuff like that um, on these 1957 series they have this stitch in the back here that goes all the way around the heel um, at first I wasn't all that crazy about it I thought it looked stupid um, you know the, the pictures they have on the internet kind of make it look funny uh, those like weird corporate -y photos they take but once you get these um, that, that part really actually grew on me. I like that a lot. Um, if you watch the boot guy reviews, um, he was saying something about them being, or this stitch being kind of something you can help, it'll help kick your boot off or something like that. I haven't done it that way, um, but it does aesthetically, it looks pretty cool. Um, like I said, this is the Briar Brown leather. Um, it is real soft, you know, to the touch and stuff like that, but it's pretty thick. And this boot's gonna take some breaking in and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, as far as the bad goes, they're, they were a little inconsistent as far as the way they constructed the sole. Um, you can see here, there's a gap on the welt. You know, I've seen boots get a lot tighter than that on welts. But, you know, I think that's not going to that's not gonna ruin anything. Um, the welt stitching is really good, really consistent. Um, but the sole, the way they ground it, this one is great. I mean, they're not going to be perfect, but, and the sole's going to get beat up anyway, but the left boot has this weird, like, point to it. If you can see that, kind of, it's got like this odd point. And if I, if I wear both the boots and I have both my feet sticking out and I'm looking down on top of them, I can see this, this profile protruding past the welt. And also where they ground the welt, you can see it's, it's away from the stitching there and then they ground it in kind of tight to the stitching here you know it's just really inconsistent I don't think that's that big of a deal it's not a deal breaker but this is you know an expensive boot I think they put it up you know on, on different sites for 225 bucks or something like that and if you're spending that kind of money I would expect it to be you know more consistent as far as that goes but like I said it's not a deal breaker for me like I said a more functional reform um, this is the max wear wedge they claim that they are gonna wear they won't wear out as fast. Um, I'm a huge fan, actually, of the Vibram Wedge. They do wear out quick, but they're so soft and they're nice on concrete floors. Um, great stuff. The, the liner on the inside is nice and soft. Um, you know, there's no complaints there. This does make it a little thicker, so it does, it does uh, contribute in the whole break-in process. Um, when I was sizing these up, I usually wear a 13 with a lot of stuff, and a 13, and I just have a regular width foot. I usually get like a 13D, but I actually went with a 12, a 12 double E. Um, that, like I said, that liner actually soaks up a little bit of the room in the width area. And when I first tried these ones on, they were a little wide in the, uh, where my pinky toe and my big toe are, just in the toe box there. Um, but as they've broken in, they've given me a lot of room and they feel really good. So if you wear 
like a 12D normally with thorough goods, I would go for a, a 12 double E. So that's that. Um, as far as breaking them in, that was the tough one. I almost had to return these. So if you look in there at that crease, that thing was so hard to get that to just lay in there the right way. It had a, it had a kind of a tough transition. Um, you know, it, it was more of a circular kind of thing. It was tough. Um, it was killing the crap out of my ankles, like right here on both boots. So that was almost, I almost returned them. I always heard that thorough goods were so easy to break in or there was no break in time. It's not the case with these. With the thicker leather and the waterproof liner, you know, it's just the way it is. You're just going to have to break them in. Um, I just wore thick socks. I actually, for the first time ever, put these things in the tub and soaked them in warm water. And then I went for a walk. Um, they are definitely waterproof, but they're only waterproof up until where that crease ends. So it was, it literally started pouring in right after that eyelet right there. Um, eyelets, they're good. They're, they're not cheap. You can't, doesn't seem like you can actually like fold these things in. Um, I think they're going to hold up pretty well. And that's pretty much it. Um, laces, that's what I want to talk about. These things... I wasn't too crazy about. I wore them during the break-in, and they are, they're all right. I'm sure they're strong. I'm sure you can, like, tug on them pretty good, and they won't split or break, but I do welding and stuff like that, and they don't really hold up to that, and also, when I was tying these, I had to double knot them. They kept coming undone if I was just doing a single knot. You know, it wasn't, it's not a deal breaker. A lot of people just double knot their boots anyway, but these things were you know, I'm not too into them. I'm actually a big fan of leather laces because they're not going to burn. Um, it's not really a look thing for me. I really just like the way they tie. I can just do a single knot on them and they hold up pretty well. But other than that, um, you know, like I said, these were tough to break in, but now that they're broken in, they're really comfortable. I like wearing them. I've only had them for a week, so I'm sure they're going to get better. Um, I don't think the, the bad outweighs the good. I think these are going to be some great boots in the long run. Um, I hope they they hold up past the life of the sole so I can probably just resole them and keep them going. But, you know, if you guys are curious about getting one of these boots, I highly recommend them. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. See you later.